Hi guys, good afternoon. Happy Labor Day to you all. Hope uh, you all have the day off and you're enjoying the final day of our nice long weekend. I am finally now going to upload my episode review for the third and most recent episode of Ahsoka, even though a brand new episode is set to drop tomorrow. I wanted to get this one uploaded sooner rather than later. I meant to do this a few days ago, but I got sidetracked. So now I'm focused, I'm here, I'm gonna talk about it. Before I get into all of that, of course, please be warned, there are spoilers ahead. If you have not seen the latest episode of Ahsoka, you do not want to keep watching or listening as I will be going into spoilers, plot details, all that jazz. That being said, you have been warned. Let's dive right back into it. First and foremost, it is so great to see the full scale live action look at our beloved Pergil, the big creatures who kind of got in the middle of that space battle between Ahsoka and the Sith fighters, which was very cool. I love seeing them in live action. They looked very, very good and so massive in scope and scale too. Um, this was a pretty good episode. You know, it had some of its exciting moments. It also had some more storytelling moments like Ahsoka trying to train Sabine how to use the Force, even though it's pretty evident that Sabine isn't and I don't think has ever been Force sensitive, but that very well could change over the course of time, I guess. I don't know, it's hard to say, but I guess that's the plan at least, or for her to be eventually become force sensitive, or even if she doesn't, it's a way to enhance her fighting abilities, which she's already pretty badass at, but never hurts to brush up on your fighting skills and become an even more badass, better fighter. So at least there's that. I thought it's, it, it seems interesting how Ray Stevenson's character, Balon, is that his name, Balon or Balon? Balon seems to be more of a reluctant Sith than a full-on evil Sith. So the guy is probably more likely a former Jedi who seems to have some kind of weird respect for Ahsoka or at least some kind of regret that she has to die because he doesn't want to kill her, but he knows he probably has to or he's going to try to. I don't know. There's more shades of gray to him than pure evil. I'm not willing to label him as a straight out villain, at least not yet. Morgan Elsbeth, she's a straight up villain. Thrawn is a straight up villain. But this guy, I don't know. And same thing goes for his apprentice. She seems to be just going along for the ride, but doesn't seem fully, fully invested in what Morgan Elsbeth is trying to do or is doing. Hugh Ang was great in this episode. David Tennant was awesome voicing this character. And what's cool too is I believe he voiced the character in Clone Wars as well. I'm pretty sure he's the same actor who did the same character. So it's very cool when they can make that transition with the same actor from animation to live action. Doesn't always happen, but when it does, it's pretty fun. So I liked this episode a lot. Like I said, pretty cool space battle between, um, you know, Ahsoka, Sabine Hu Yang, and the Sith fighters and Morgan's people, and the Purgle kind of getting involved, but not really. It's more like they got in the way as they were just like, you know, floating along, and they didn't really help either side. Purgle have usually been more to the side of leaning towards the side of good than evil, thankfully, but they are just big animals, but they're sentient too, like they're smart as well, so... But um, I liked this episode just fine. I thought it was pretty great. And I am excited for what the next episode holds. By the next episode, which is dropping tomorrow, I believe, we will already be at the halfway point of this show. So we only have four episodes left after tomorrow's episode. And a lot can happen in one episode. Imagine how much is going to happen in the next five episodes. So I'm pretty excited about that. But so far, I am really enjoying it. Like I said, it is so wonderful to see all of these characters from Rebels, from The Mandalorian again, after all of this time, and all of them being together on screen. It's very, very exciting. So I'm excited about this show, the rest of this show, as I hope you guys are too. But overall... I liked this episode just fine, and it had its exciting moments, and it had some good storytelling beats as well. And you want a healthy balance of that in any good story, but especially in an exciting franchise like Star Wars. So 
I thought it was a pretty good installment. What did you guys think? I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on it. Thank you so much for watching this episode review. I do apologize for the delay in getting this up, but I finally have it uploaded. So thank you for bearing with me and being so supportive. I do appreciate that. So Ahsoka drops new episodes every Tuesday on Disney+. Plus. Have an awesome rest of your weekend, everybody. And of course, until next time, may the Force be with you.